back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. What well, going on, my people? Hope everybody you know, okay. Hope everybody you know, all right. Some people appear in your life when you need them the most. They love you and lift you up, remind you of the best even when you are going through the worst. These people are not just friends. They are earth angels. So if you have an earth angel, always take time out if you appreciate them. You understand? Because real people no make no more. But anyway, people, one only thing still are going the news. So here we are going to go on. One of three men charged on October 5th possession of dealing in Ganja was on Wednesday sentenced to a fine of 500,000 or six months imprisonment before the St. Elizabeth Parish Court. The three, Anthony Ebanks, McCarthy Bennett and Rajari Braham, were arrested during an anti-narcotics operation. They were held with 300 pounds of ganja. Ebanks pled guilty to ownership of the ganja. He was also handed a 12-month sentence or two years. Bennett and Braham were each sentenced to 12-month imprisonment suspended for two years. In another matter, Devon Honeygun, who was seen loading ganja into a pickup truck, was fined 15,000 or 30 days imprisonment for possession of ganja. The truck was reportedly owned by Ebanks. Ebanks was sentenced to 12-month imprisonment suspended for two years in relation to that matter. But all and the people, one only percent thing I go on. But anyway, let me go to some more drugs news here, man. The narcotic division is reporting a major success in the destruction of a transnational drug trafficking syndicate operating between United States and Jamaica. Eight members of the syndicate were on Wednesday arrested on board a cruise ship in Ochiria, St. Anne's. The cops seized cocaine value more than a hundred million in the operation. Among the eight persons arrested are seven United States national and one Jamaican who were found attempting to smuggle a large quantity of cocaine out of the island. Me know, so Jamaican that for be apartheid. Any little thing for do with any little foolishness, up front and centre, man. Yes, right up front and centre. The police report that all eight were passengers who earlier disembarked the vessel which arrived in Ochi from Miami in Florida. Anonymous were detected in their luggage at about 1.30 p.m. as the eight members of the syndicate were attempting to reboard the vessel for departure. During a search by the members of the narcotic division, a total of 24 packages containing cocaine weighing over 17 kilograms or 38 pounds were found concealed in their bag. The drug was seized and all eight passengers arrested. Their identity are being withheld pending further investigation, which includes them being interviewed in the presence of the attorney. The cocaine have a street value of approximately 130 million Jamaican dollars. Yes, people. To understand that our guard power guard. The body of an unidentified man was found on the Belfield Main Road in Highgate St. Mary yesterday morning. Report reached on news that about 7 o'clock residents of Belfield heard gunshot and called the police. The police found the body at the side of the road with bullet wounds to the head. Yes, people, we tell this, they are loaded, headshot. The man, the man, that shot these days, you know. The 40th murder in St. Mary since the start of the year. Jano Star, St. Mary, I go on. And about how that alone, the man them a chop down down there. The man them a chop down people too. But anyway, more news. Two Jamaica Defence Force soldiers are dead and two others injured following a motor vehicle crash along Old Oak Road in St. Andrew early, early this morning. Yes, people. Yes, yes, yes. You are going to go on now. The deceased soldier has been identified as Nicard Harrison and Marvin Powell. The police said the crash occurred about 3.30 a.m. in the vicinity of Waterfalls. Everybody know that delicate corner. They understand. Holy pa people, we are coming from up a Mona side, right up a you take a you and them look a place there who drive that side there, right there, so no see a one terrible car now. Holy pa accident that me right there, so anyway. The report further state that Harris was driving a blue Toyota Yaris motor car with three passengers aboard when he failed to negotiate a corner. Me telling you, see a one dangerous piece of car that people causing the vehicle to veer into a wall at the side of the roadway. The car was damaged extensively. Yes, people, the car mash up bad, 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 bad. They have one picture of the car, can't show that you understand. The police said all occupants of the motor car received multiple injuries and were transported to the University Hospital of the West Indies. Guess what happened when they reached up there? Harrison and Powell 
go straight to the mall, go put them on ice. You understand? The other victims were admitted. One of them in critical condition. The latest death brings the total road fatalities since the start of January to 399. Yes, what's the matter later on? You get to 400. I don't ask for it still, but I know it I got because the people them not take them time on the road. Fast and stupid them name. Anyway, we can move on. St. Catching North Police are now probing a shooting incident on Mansfield Avenue in Homestead St. Catching last night, in which a man was shot and killed and two other persons injured. Finally get the red paper now so we can tell you no way. One done right name. So no matter worry yourself, keep back and relax at your walk one pan walk one now. 33 year old Damien Marlin of a Mansfield Avenue address and two injured persons were reported among the patrons at the party at about 10 pm when gunman drove up and fired several shots in the crowd. Yes, people, I'm gonna tell you something. I never go fast still, you understand? Him is who them go for because his brother is a big, 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 big violence producer too. I'm them go for. Marlin was shot and was pronounced dead right pan spot while another man and a woman were admitted in hospital in serious condition. A woman who was attending the party told her news team, say my view, a woman will be up and then you want to see people around and a duck for cover. But guess what she feel for tell me say? The man them at the party beat back too shot to understand but the chat when them beat back. Never really catch the body. So anyway, people make a move on and give people them some more news there. Eh? A senior person judge was upset when she learned that an unemployed 20-year-old man kicked his girlfriend in the face after allegedly breaking into her house. So we'll land there. Why the girl never just kick him back in her fame face though? You understand? But anyway, people, I'm telling you, go on. The man, Norman Dickens, plead guilty to malicious destruction of property and assault occasionally by the harm. However, he pled not guilty to housebreaking and lastly charges when he appeared in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court. For destroying your girlfriend's cell phone, he was ordered to pay 30000 to replace it. Dickens was also ordered to pay 80000 in restitution for assaulting a woman totaling 110,000. Allegations are that Dickens broke into the complainant house by picking the lock. Yes, people. Real, real pickpocket. He told the court that he saw her speaking with a man and they looked close. According to Dickens, he saw that as a disrespect and an argument developed between two of them resulting into the assault. The complainant told the judge, yes, which judge, people, our favorite friend, so I'm not telling you her name, that Dickens, whom she is no longer in a relationship with, Licked her all over the body. Yes, people, the man put on beer, big, big sticker, sorry, back on a bag or something. Take off all him belt too. When asked what Dickens used to eat her, the woman said he used his hands and feet. People, this is another the drama part of the news. It's in the just wait here, you wag one pound, wag one, man. You don't work, but your foot is all over this young lady. The outraged judge asked. The complainant revealed that the man who visited her was unable to assist her. During the assault because he had a broken leg. Yes, people, he had a broken leg. Denying the accusation that he broke into the complainant house and took her cell phone, Dickens said the complainant called him around her yard and disrespect him. Make him say, watch out, man. I the broke foot, man, I'm glad, I'm glad now, you know. Yes, people, come like a that she call him around if he say. I don't know what I say. But anyway, people. However, the prosecution said he actually left with the cell phone, then it was destroyed. The complainant denied ever calling him to her house. Anyway, people. They can return to court on November 22nd for sentencing. So, when you return, you never get sentenced on them like a thing there. You can keep on the post it and you can know what I'm going for, what I'm going for. Hold on now. Mother of ball, you understand? One son dead, I want to go to prison. Mother left a ball. I never see them fight. They never in an argument, none at all. I don't know what... I don't know what go on between the two of them. I can't tell you, I can't explain what happened between the two of them. That's bad she killed her in right? We can't, we don't know. We can't manage it. We can't manage that more. It hurt, man. We, we not even, sometimes we come like more and black out on my head. We don't want to think about it. We know when I now come in, that time when I come in, I said to mommy, last week I beg you, no, mommy, last week I beg you, turn on your hot spot. Turn your phone, me get a call. Man, mm -mm. no more of that. So I feel like we're right, man. I feel me sorry. What more blame me sorry for the mother because I'm not the pressure she under now. She's a sickly lady. Sick with sugar and something like that. Every minute she get a little drop down and she's going to the hospital. I'm sorry. I see myself right now, man.